This week on Cartoon Conspiracy, we're gonna do something a little different. This week, we're gonna be talking about Easter eggs. Animators love to hide subtle references in their work. And right now, I'm gonna list every instance of A113 that I could find. In Toy Story, it's the license plate of Andy's mom's car. It appears on a box in A Bug's Life, a camera in Finding Nemo, a cell number in The Incredibles, and on various vehicles and cars. The courtroom number in Up, in even more vehicles and cars too, it's this door in Monsters University. And A113 is even Roman numerals in Brave. But that's not all. A113 appears on a truck in Lilo and Stitch and then again in The Iron Giant. A113 has actually found its way into several episodes of The Simpsons and American Dad. And I'm still not done. A113 shows up on Agent Hannaway's ring in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol and it's also the signal Tom Cruise's character uses to call in support. A113 even shows up twice in The Avengers. And last but not least, A113 shows up in Catching Fire. So what is A113? Well, A113 is a classroom. Let's go back to Valencia, California, 1979. In a classroom at California Institute of the Arts, future big names in animation, John Lasseter, Brad Bird, Andrew Stanton, Pete Docter, Tim Burton, Henry Selleck, just to name a few, were just students. CalArts, an art school founded by Walt Disney, was one of the first to offer a program in animation, taught firsthand by Disney legends. This small group of CalArts kids bonded over their student work in classroom A113 and then went on to revolutionize the animation world. So I guess A113 has become a way for these animation geniuses to mark their territory. Territory. However, A113 has expanded past just these CalArts alumni. The reason this Easter egg appears in films like The Avengers and Catching Fire is because Joss Whedon, director of The Avengers, was a writer on Toy Story, and Michael Arndt, screenwriter of Catching Fire, was a writer on Toy Story 3. Where will all this A113 madness end? Well, hopefully never. As long as these people are making movies and TV shows, we are bound to see A113 hidden somewhere on our screens. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled. If you happen to see A113 pop up somewhere that I didn't mention, let me know in the comments. And in the description below, I added some awesome videos and websites I found while doing my research for this video. And even some some ridiculous conspiracies about what people thought A113 could have been. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cartoon Conspiracy. You can click over here to check out a preview for next week's episode. Make sure you subscribe to Channel Frederator. Stay tuned for next week. Check out my channel as well. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.